Hello, my name is Derek Olin, owner of Olin Plumbing. Today we're going to be showing you how to test a 1 inch Wilkins 975XL RP device. This is a backflow device and generally the tests are done annually, required by the City of Tampa and Hillsborough County. So, to show you what and what this is for and explain to you why it's important to have these devices and also have them tested, here we go. And basically I just use two hoses on this as opposed to the three that comes with the kit. What we're going to be doing is testing. First we're going to test check valve number one. We hook the low hose and the high hose up to the number two and number three test cocks on the device. The valve, service valve leaving the device is in the off position and the number one ball valve feed valve is in the on position. And these valves have to be tested wet. So I'm going to turn on the number one, two, number two test cock and the number three test cock. Now we want a reading of five pounds or more on this uh, on this check valve. Here we have a reading of 8.2. Now the relief valve, which is located at the bottom of the device here, that has to open at a minimum of two PSIs and it also has to be at least three pounds less than the 8.2 that we have here. Otherwise, that check valve or that relief valve is not opening properly. So to do that, we will open up the high side, the low side, and while watching the gauge, I hold my hand underneath, and as soon as water touches it, okay, it opened at 3.4. So 3.4 to 8.2 is more than sufficient. Okay, now we're going to check the number two check valve. We hook the low hose to test cock number four, the high hose to test cock number three, and we turn the two on pressurize our gauge. Now test cock or check valve number two has to hold a minimum of one PSI of back pressure. And here we're sitting at 2.1. This valve's in great shape. Depressurize it, turn the test cocks off, and we'll turn the service back on to the residence. And there you have it. We're off to the next one.